Does it drive you crazy when others comment on what you're eating or drinking? We are about into summer, a couple of weeks away, and the get-togethers, parties, weddings, barbecues, graduation, open houses are in full swing. It is the season where we are doing a lot of eating with other people. I feel like this is probably the biggest time of the year where people gather during the summer with all of the get-togethers and then during the holidays as well. Well, I have had many clients share with me that I hate when people comment on what I'm eating or how much I'm eating. Yeah, it really can rob you of the joy of engaging with others to have a meal. Do you have this happen to you and how do you feel about it? I'd love to hear in the comment section below. I recently shared a video actually last week on little things that people say directly or indirectly that push our buttons. I did have a couple of people comment sharing that it pushes their buttons when others comment on what they are eating or drinking and how much. Is it really any of their business? Many believe that commenting on what someone else is eating is no different than commenting on someone else's weight. And we've definitely gotten to a place where it's okay to comment on someone's weight if they're thin or skinny. Uh, but if someone is carrying a little extra weight, they are heavy or overweight, it's not acceptable to comment. I'll let you be the judge of how you take that or how you handle that. I personally do not feel that it is acceptable to comment on someone's weight, whether they are fit and thin and skinny or if they are overweight. That is their own personal journey. At the end of the day, just tell the other person how great they look. That's all you need to say. And a polished and poised person would know this. Welcome. I'm Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach and ICF credential holder. I help people just like you in whatever area you would like to make changes or grow in your life. Also, navigating relationships and troubleshooting why certain things push your buttons, like someone commenting on what you are eating or drinking. This really is perfect timing because once again, we are in a season where we most often are eating with others. And if you do want to be received well by others, and let's be honest, who doesn't, then it would be in your best interest to not comment on what is on someone else's plate unless you have something positive to say. Wow, what did you order? That looks amazing right? It's no different than telling another person, wow, you look fantastic, but you don't comment on their weight even if you notice they've lost weight. You let that person be the one to give that cue. And I recently did a video on commenting on people's weight. Is it acceptable even to comment on someone's weight if you notice they lost weight? You will definitely want to check out that video any videos that complement today's video will be in the library in the description box below. It is best to just refrain from commenting on other people's food. If you see someone who has a large helping of different food on their plate, they get to choose that. And it's really not going to be received well if you're commenting on it. You really just need to put your focus on what's on your plate and what you're eating. A lot of my clients that take really good care of their health and manage and maintain their weight to where they're satisfied will often share with me that some of their friends or family members that don't take care of themselves and are not happy with their weight, and, and they can tell by different cues or different things that the other person says, will share with me how much they hate that others are commenting on what they eat. They will share that if they don't put a lot on their plate, other people will comment about that. Oh, you're as if you're dieting or restricting or whatever comes up in their in their head. 
Or if you do have a hearty helping, they will make comments like, it must be nice to eat that and get away with how you look. I've heard that before in my life and I always know it's coming from a place of their own shortcomings, so I really don't let it even scratch the surface. But it, it's, it takes time to get to a place where you are not affected by what other people comment and you know it's coming more from their own place. They have no idea what you eat on a day-to-day -day basis and that you could simply be out celebrating, especially if you're someone like me and you love food. I love so many different dishes and different styles of food and different cultural food that I, I even love to talk about food, but more recipes or what people like, not about what we are eating, and there certainly is a difference. So it's one thing to talk about food itself, but we should never talk about what someone is eating. Never comment on what's on their plate unless, again, you are saying something positive and never comment on how much is on their plate, whether you see it as a small amount or a large amount. We all have a different preference and we have no idea how this person eats outside of this particular engagement where we are enjoying food together. So it's really proper and polished to just stay in your lane and stay in your box and not comment on what other people are eating. How do you handle yourself though if someone is commenting? Well, give yourself permission to not hear these food comments. Give yourself permission to not hear them. And again, this takes practice. I share all the time in coaching, it's like exercising a muscle. The more opportunities you have to exercise that muscle, the stronger it will get. Well, we can't get stronger if we don't welcome the noise. So in the moment, you may not be happy with someone commenting on what you are eating or drinking, but this is an opportunity for you to exercise that resistance muscle. It's not worth it for you to come back and say something at their jab or poke at what you're eating. Again, remind yourself that they are trying to steal your joy from you and you don't have to say yes to that. You don't need to push back. You can just stand up for yourself, with yourself. I always remind myself, and, and I don't really hear comments. Most people that I'm around, I've been around with forever. So they already know how I eat. They know that I'm a very healthy eater, but they also know that I'm a foodie and I love to eat and I love to dine out and that I enjoy it with no restriction. Um, they also know that I'm always back on the plan, so I welcome it and I embrace it. I actually have no desire to dine with someone that makes me feel uncomfortable with what I'm eating or how much I'm eating. I have no interest in that. So I give myself permission and I would decline any offer if I felt that it was going to be an evening or an event where someone is going to try to steal my joy from something that I love, which is eating. I absolutely love it. There is nothing wrong with that. I love eating healthy and I love indulging and celebrating and that's okay. And it's okay to share that with someone. Yeah, I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating today. And I got two pieces of dessert because I love dessert and I'm celebrating. I think it's coming back just very confident about your choice and not explaining yourself, but, but owning it. Yeah, yes, I know, I got two. It's because I'm celebrating and I love it. I love it. Did you want a bite? Or you should try it, right? Just come back, have some, have some poise, be polished, and don't let people's comments scratch the surface. It's not worth it. Check out my video library in the description box below this video where I have so many wonderful videos that have similar content that I think will really help if you're exercising that resistance muscle. Um, don't forget to check out Three Week Intense. I'd love for you to join me. It'll be here before you know it. It's the perfect time as we're phasing a little bit towards the end of summer 
and a perfect time as kids will be going back into the school year. So check out that link and I will see you right here in a few days on YouTube and be sure to watch me on Instagram stories where I share similar content like I shared with you today and make sure you weigh in. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on others commenting on what you eat or drink or how much. So weigh in. All right, take care.